Okay guys, so today's video is going to be on the slender mongoose. In a particular species, this is going to be the Gallerilla sanguine. So this is the taxonomy slide. If you want to pause it and look over it, it's up to you. So distinguishing characteristics of this animal. So the slender mongoose is one of the smallest mongooses. Um, this particular species spends more time in trees than other Mongooses with this added territory, the mongoose has a different food source allowing for species to survive if one food source is depleted. So the, bo so the body length is 27 to 40 centimeters long, tail length is 23 to 33 centimeters long, and they are about the size of the average house cat. In this case, males are dominant with, um, with being 10 to 20 percent larger than the females. The, uh, there is considerable variability in coloration among sp subspecies, usually correlating with the soil. And uh, they have silkier fur than other African mongooses. So distribution. Uh, this particular species has over 40 subspecies um, and lived all throughout sub-Saharan Africa. These species are not known to inhabit extreme deserts or densely forested areas. And they live in a variety of areas from arid hills where there is little little stunted vegetation or thick shrub or low forest. The mongoose population uh, density is mostly located on level sandy plains with small shrubbery. So life history and abundance. The lifespan of the slender mongoose is close to 13 years and the particular species that I'm going over right now uh, are only found in sub-Saharan Africa. Ecology, the habitat. Uh, so they are to they are terrestrial biomes, including savannas, forests, and, <coughs> and scrub forests. The diet, uh, most are op opportunistic feeders. Insects make up the largest portion of the diet, supplemented by lizards, rodents, snakes, birds, amphibians, and fruit. They are also able to kill venomous snakes, which they then eat. So behavior, they are primarily dinoral but will hunt at night when there is a moon and the weather is very warm. They share their feeding niche with other members of the related species, and also they are not very territorial, but can be if other males enter their territory. So when it comes to reproduction, the major breeding season is, is from October to April. The gestation period is around 60 to 70 days. The number of the young are normally two, but only one can occur. The male takes no part in raising the young. Diseases and parasites. So this particular species are believed to be an important vector for rabies in, the, in East Africa. They also kill domestic poultry when available. And also other than rabies, the mongoose has no major contrib contribution to the health of sub-Saharan Africa. And this is just a little diagram showing um, proportions of rabies, um, mostly in Asia and Africa. So conservation threats. Uh, they are not an, an endangered species, but others within this genus are. Threats to this species include human invaders such as cities and urbanization. Mongooses also have been targets for eradication due to them killing uh, livestock such as chickens and other small poultry um, items or organisms, I should say. Also, re recent drought has caused a recent drop in population numbers. Conservation status, the IUNC. As listed, the slender mongoose species as least concern. The population of this particular species are in no immediate danger, but its subspecies are. Here my literature cited, and thank you for watching.